Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome back to Skyrim Dragonborn. In the last episode, we came back to Skyrim. Because uh, we've got a couple of errands to run. And just because I thought it would be a change to come back to Glitch Friggin' City. Thank you. Man, this game glitches a lot. I really hope I'm going the right way, because I'm not that sure. Oh, that's better. Man, you can see a lot more once the snow stops. Damn. Stupid snow. Are you going the right way? Yep. Take a left. And then a right. Oh no, no. Just continue on to sunset. Alright. We're going awfully east here, dude. Relax, it'll, it'll go south. They all go south in the end, don't worry. There's a mammoth! I would attack you, mammoth, but I have things to do. Hi, guys. What's up, buddies? Wonder how these guys feel about this guy wearing bone, mo bone mold armor. Which is basically a Morrowind thing. A Dark Elf thing. Just running across the countryside. Prancing around like he's all that. Okay, well at least we're going the right way now. That's a start. It is. Hey dude, standing in the middle of the road, what's up? You want to sell me scuba, don't you? Well, I'm not interested. Thanks for the offer, though. I've still got one bottle of uh, Red Mist scuba from Dawnguard. That was the best scuba. That was, that was the effect that all scuba should have. Do you mind? Stupid bear. Hey, troll. Oh man, I am strong now. Maybe it's just that Sol the enemies in Solsheim are a lot stronger. Well, it's probably that plus the fact that your sword does like 300 damage. Oh my god, what is the game doing? No. Please. Oh, jeez. But before, like when we first started, right, I was using unarmed. Yeah. And I've got the perk that... Who's that? Huh. I've got the perk where my unarmed damage... Wait, where are we going west now? Um... Eh. Um, I've got the perk where... The, the da melee, unarmed melee damage is dependent on my, um... My glove armor rating. My glove armor rating was like 300. Okay, well, it, like I said, it's probably a bit of both. It's probably mainly... I still think mainly it's the fact that your sword does a lot of damage. But also, um, I reckon the enemies in Solsheim are a lot stronger. They certainly are, on on Master difficulty. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Hmm. That said, I killed that legendary dragon pretty easily. That's the only enemy I've killed uh, in Solside with this weapon so far. With this armor, too. Because the armor has one handed damage bonuses as well. Yeah, but I think that's already shown by the numerical damage for your attack rating for the, for the sword. 
Because originally this sword only does 109 damage. Oh yeah, you're right. That's right. But with all the bonuses, it bumps it up to like 200 and something. Sure stone, we're almost there, I don't believe it. I actually gotta make it to Riften. It is a miracle. What is this, bear against bear? No, it's troll against bear. Who will win this epic battle? My money is on the troll. I only say that because troll's owning you. Come on, troll, you can do it. You almost got him. The bear's not even fighting, no wonder he's losing. Yeah, they're both just standing there. Get into him, troll. Do something. Guys. Ah, oh, shut up. You both suck. Yeah, is there another town between Fort Greenwall and, uh, Rifton? No, Shorestone is the, the northern town. Southern town, southern town, damn it. Why do I keep thinking Rifton is north? After this, after Fort Greenwall, you get those, you know, those towers, the sentry towers. And there's about three or four of them, uh, and then Rifton. Okay. One, two, three. There's, yeah, there's three here, and then there's one extra one in some obscure location. Yeah, I'll believe you. Right, let's go to Riften then. I know everyone knows me, dude. I'm the friggin' Dover kid, alright? Shut up and let me drink my mead. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Sweet, sweet nectar. Okay, well, um... Hey, dude. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't Dude, the I, like, completely destroyed, single-handedly destroyed the Empire, okay? Hmm. You're not from around here. A spy, perhaps? Uh, what did I just say? Why don't you people listen to me? What was I doing here, anyway? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus. Huh? No, dude, I'm invisible. Like the bite of a flea. Die, damn you! Win this. Put you down. You got owned, thief. You got absolutely friggin' owned. I'll take that and that and that and that. If it's a fight you want, I'm ready this time. Wait. Who, me? I know you. You want to fight me? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, buddy. How about next time you watch your tongue? Yeah, that's an idea. Okay, well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Ah, oh, 
I mean, loading screens are the worst. Okay, so... <sighs> right. Oh, well, it's been a while since we came here. Another loading screen! I gotta drink again! Damn it! Stuff is strong. But it goes down smooth. Oh yeah. Okay, so um Well. So first, let's start with Delvin. Are you crazy? What were you thinking? You can't just go around doing things the way you please. What are you talking now about? We have to kick you out until things cool down. What? I'll give you any jobs or payouts for goods. Oh, is this because I killed the? Bex. She'll tell you the whys and hows if you want to get back in. Is that because I killed the thief upstairs? Sorry, we got nothing to talk about. Oh God. Straighten you out. Here, Vex. Oh, well. It isn't Brynjolf's little protege. Yeah. I'm gonna make this short and sweet because, frankly, I don't think you deserve another shot. Yeah, you said that I'm last time. This is the Thieves Guild, Jean. Did you think we'd accept a heartfelt? I'd say it's pickpockets. Not Shut good. up! It's like my money. Anything you st now get out of here and don't come back until your pockets are full. I hope you brought a little something for me. That's all here. Next time you decide to pull a stunt like that. Just remember how much it hurt to Where? Need a few spare septums? I got the cure right here. No, I don't. Always a pleasure, boss. Delvin, where are you? Do for you? Um There's plenty more work for the likes of you. So he's got You would think he'd have something interesting to say after I talk to his brother. Especially after this letter. Well, let's go talk to Sapphire, just in case she has something interesting to say. Oh, wait, I forgot. Loading screen. Damn it. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, no! Now there's another loading screen! Mm. Yeah. And then there's going to be another loading screen immediately afterwards because I've got to go into the Thieves Guild team area. The cistern. Ah, oh, damn. I'm having too much mead. When does this episode end? Two minutes. Oh, God. I've got to hold out until then. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Uh, are you playing this drinking game with me? Because you bloody well should. I don't think it's fair that I'm the only person doing this. You all need to go out there, buy a bottle of mead, play the Leo Skyrim loading screen drinking game. It's fun for the whole family. Alright. Sapphire, where are you? Hello? Sorry, Sapphire. I've got Good to see you again, friend. Back from a job, huh? Hope oh, there good. is something extra. Sweet. Okay. Well, thank goodness, because I was really anxious that we'd come all down here and you'd sat and watch me ride on a horse for five hours for nothing. So I'm glad something came out of this. Uh, I think this belongs to you. I, I can't believe it. All those years on the farm, and my mother never told me about any of this. Mm -hmm. Words can't even begin to describe how much I appreciate you bringing this to me. No worries. Here, take this. I used to carry it for good luck. Okay. But I think you deserve it more than I do. I probably don't even want it, but... Oh, uh, exquisite sapphire? Okay. What can you tell me about your real name? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Um, I just gave you anyway. the letter. It's not like we're family. This is a I just gave you the letter that told you who your dad was. Your long lost father you never met before. Dude. 
Maybe I'll see you around the guild. Of all the friggin' nerve. And loading screen. Great. I'll just drown my sorrow, shall I? Mmm. Damn it. I can't believe that. I think that that should have been part. That should have been part of the DLC. That after you give her the letter, you can ask the question again, and she will tell you her real name. And it'll be like Cindy. Cindy Margoni. Yeah. Oh, wait. Now, wouldn't it be... Technically, wouldn't her surname be... The same surname as... Uh, Glover, whatever his name was? Wait, so was I... Was there anything more? Was that, was that an actual quest? That I did? Because I just did that. I didn't really think about it. Oh, I didn't sell my stuff. I'm carrying stuff around. Oh, and I forgot to try this out. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um. Where's this exquisite sapphire? Oh, yeah. Whoa, that's really pricey. Alright, well, let's go to my house. Why not? Well, I'm glad that something good came out of that. Um, there's no one around. I want to sell stuff, but I can't. Oh. Oh, my horse would have disappeared by now. That's okay. Because I can just get another horse at this place. Even if I couldn't, I could just spawn a horse. And I just realized we went over again. So, alright, when we come back, we're going to make our way back to my house and uh, dump some stuff and then we're going to move on and uh, actually do something but uh, for now my name is Leo and I will see you next time